If you are a business owner, and a VAT registrant in UAE, then you should not miss this video. All we know, that almost all the companies are registered under VAT, as per UAE VAT law. Like registration, deregistration also an important procedure to be understand. In this video, we will discuss about, what is VAT deregistration, what are the circumstances where it's mandatory, when you should do deregistration, and how to apply for it. What is VAT deregistration? Tax deregistration means, deactivation of the registration, and the VAT number of the taxable person, from federal tax authority. VAT deregistration can be applied by a person, registered under VAT, or it can be done by the FTA, on finding that, a person meets the conditions for deregistration. VAT registration is mandatory, if a company have taxable turnover of 375,000 dirhams or above in a year. Otherwise, it's not mandatory. If a company have taxable turnover of 187,500 dirhams and below 375,000 dirhams per year, then they can apply for voluntary registration. But many companies, to get the business, or not to lose existing business, have registered under VAT law, even though they are not meeting this mandatory, or voluntary threshold limit. What if a company, who have registered under VAT, but don't have a turnover of 187,500 dirhams in a year? If a company cancelled their license, then do they need to deregister VAT? There are so many confusions are there, about deregistration. Let's understand it clearly. Like VAT registration, deregistration also classified into two, mandatory deregistration, and voluntary deregistration. There are mainly two circumstances in mandatory deregistration. First, any taxable person, should apply for VAT deregistration, if that company stop making taxable supplies. It can be because of the license cancellation, company liquidation etc. Under this circumstance, you should apply for deregistration, within 20 business days, from the date starting from which the taxable person stopped making taxable supplies. Second, a taxable person, making taxable supplies, in the last 12 months, which is less than the registration threshold, that is below 187,500 dirhams. The taxable supply includes, both standard rated, and zero rated sales. Under this circumstance, you should apply for deregistration, within 20 business days, from the date starting from which the value of the taxable person's taxable supplies, no longer exceed the voluntary registration threshold. Now we'll discuss about voluntary deregistration. If a taxable person, making taxable supplies in the past 12 months was, less than the mandatory registration threshold, that is below 375,000 dirhams, then the taxable person can apply for voluntary deregistration. Please note, if the date of submission of this deregistration form, is more than 20 business days, from the date the taxable person is required to deregister, then you will be subject to a late deregistration penalty of AED 10,000. Now we will see, how to apply for deregistration. Log in to your FTA account, by using your credentials. On the dashboard click on deregister button. This is the deregister request form. You can see here, taxable person details are pre-populated in the deregistration application. Here you have to provide the reasons for deregistration. You can select those from the drop-down list. Details you have to type below this box. Specify, a preferred deregistration date. Upload all the relevant supporting documents, by clicking on Choose Files. Documents here means, trade license copy, company cancellation certificate, income statement etc. Review the application form before submission. It is important to update the email credentials, for authorized signatory, wherever necessary. And confirm all the four declarations, by ticking the checkbox, next to each. Once you have completed the above, click on the submit button to proceed. 
Once the deregistration request is submitted, the federal tax authority shall approve or reject the request and notify the registrant accordingly. Further, the FTA may ask you to provide additional supporting documents. Once your application is submitted, the status of your application form will be amended too. Pending. You may check your application status in the dashboard from time to time. Once the FTA confirms acceptance of your deregistration application form, the status of your deregistration in the dashboard will be changed to pre-approved. You may also be required to submit a final tax return, which will be generated by the system in the VAT returns section. A final tax return is the return for the last tax period for which the taxable person was registered with the FTA. The final tax period ends on the effective date of deregistration pre-approved by the FTA. The final tax return should be submitted and payable tax should be settled no later than 28 days from the effective date of deregistration. That is from the end of the final tax period. For example, Company B was registered with the FTA for VAT with effect from January 1, 2018. Their tax periods are January to March, April to June, July to September, and October to December. They applied for deregistration with effect from May 5, 2018 on June 1, 2018. FTA approved deregistration application on June 2, 2018, and confirmed the effective date of deregistration as May 31, 2018. Company B is required to submit and settle the payment for a final tax return for the period from April 1, 2018 to May 31, 2018, before 28 of June, 2018. The taxable person is responsible to ensure the correctness of the final tax return. All transactions must be reported in the final tax return, including any deemed supplies for any goods and services forming part of the assets of business carried on by the taxable person. At the time of deregistration, you will receive an email and an SMS notification informing you of the status of the application and requesting you to complete the payment of the outstanding liabilities. To complete the payment of outstanding liabilities, go to My Payment tab and under VAT and Penalty Payment box, enter the amount as per the message in Total Outstanding Liability. Click on Make Payment to proceed with the payment. Please note, you will not be deregistered unless you've paid all tax and administrative penalties due and filed all tax returns, including any outstanding returns, as well as the final tax return. Failure to apply with the FTA for deregistration and or filing a final tax return or settlement of payable tax within deadline would be subject to penalty and potential delay in completing the deregistration process. In case you submit your deregistration request and you have a credit amount with the FTA and your deregistration application got approved by the FTA, you can initiate the VAT refund process on FTA eServices. FTA will approve the deregistration application if there are no outstanding liabilities and the taxable person has paid the final tax return and penalties. And the application status will be changed to deregistered. Hob Accounting Consultancy can help you on VAT deregistration and give you proper advice on all your VAT related issues. Please like and subscribe to get new video updates. Thanks for watching.